guys welcome back another early morning here on the Sunshine Coast Queensland and this morning we have cockatoos for breakfast <laughs> not literally but they've come for breakfast here you go guys good morning hello no that's the picture oh there's another one Alright, alright, don't fight. It's plenty for everybody. There we go. Last year's baby's over there. He's a little bit shy. There he comes. That's the baby. They have they had a baby last year and then he's still getting used to us. Alright, there we go. Look, there's plenty to go around. This is just fresh meat that they're getting. Would you like some, baby? Hmm? Here we go. You have a go. Here you go, baby. It's all right. It's okay. It's yummy. You have a try. He's a good baby. He's big for a baby, isn't he? <laughs> or she. I don't know. Can't tell. But uh, he makes a different noise to the other one, so I know he's a baby. His parents still feed him sometimes. And, well, he expects to be fed sometimes, is it? don't you? Yes, you feed yourself though. Don't look at me like that. You have some. It's good. Well done. Off he goes. All right. Back to you. You want some? I'll tip the container down a bit more. And what have we got down there? There's a, that one's a Karawong. A big black one. It's a Karawong. And then down there is a little, where are you? A little magpie lark. He's found something on the grass. Uh, and back up to the kookaburras. So there you go. Another little introduction to the morning visitors here on, in Queensland, Australia. <laughs> All right, let's get to pouring. sit there. Uh, it's pretty dry. may just be a little bit damp in the middle yet so I'm not going to run my hand over the centre. But uh, it's come up really pretty. There's no cracks, there's no divots. It's uh, yeah really good. So that was just the 70% glue and 30% water. Love it! That was the one where I learnt a couple of new things. Still learning every pour I do. Right, so this one, I'm going to do um, three flip cups, but I'm going to flip, tilt, torch, and dip. So I'm going to flip them over first, tilt it all around, then I'm going to torch, and then I'm going to balloon dip. So there we go. And I've got seven colours, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've separated my cools from my warms with my white. Uh, 700 grams for this size canvas, 30 by 60 centimetre, 12 by 24 inch. And let's put in, oh, let's do three drops. One, two, three. One, two, three. I won't do the white. I was debating whether to put two or three. This mix is a little bit thinner. I've gone one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. Only because I'm going to be torching after I tilt. So the cells aren't really going to have a chance to stretch. You know, normally we flip the cups over and then we torch and the cells come up and then we stretch them and they grow. So I'm not doing that today. I'm just going for little cute cells. 
So I've made my mix a little bit thinner so that when they do pop up to say hi, they don't have so much resistance on them from the thicker mix and hopefully they'll be able to pop up and spread out a little bit. So that's my theory. And then I'm going to balloon dip. So let's start layering. And I'll talk to you about it as I go. So three cups. So a little bit of paint in each. I'm going to do two layers. My mix today is my, the same one that I've been using lately and I am changing to this mix. So I'm not going to go with my 60% glue 30% water and 10% flow troll anymore because I much prefer this one. When I use this mix my colours uh, they don't split so yeah I guess that's one of the main reasons. Initially I started pouring with Flow troll, but um, moved away from it. And I only had that little tiny bit left in there, another you know, 10%. And now I'm thinking, well, I prefer the results from just the glue and water. So I'm doing that. Move away from the, the flow troll altogether. I'm hoping I've got enough red in here. I really want a pop of good pop of red, like that oriental one that I did, you know, with the swipe and the, the balloon dips kind of going for that but I know I'm not going to because that was a swipe and this is a, a flip cup and I've only got one red so I'm thinking the orange and the blue is kind of going to take over but I'll have a go and then I can always do another one and increase the amount of red so we'll see what happens so I've got my little glove blown up to make a balloon. I don't know why, I just prefer the glove. It's kind of softer. Don't blow it up all the way. It just seems to be softer than a balloon. I get a nice little flower when I dip it in. I've done a couple of videos on balloon dips, so please check out those videos if you've missed them and you'll see what I'm talking about. You don't need very much paint on your surface to dip. Uh, that's another reason why I'm sort of thinning this mix a little bit because my other mix that I usually do is 50% pouring medium to 50% paint. It's obviously going to be thicker. Uh, so more paint on the surface and for the balloon dips I do prefer less paint on the surface. You can actually do balloon dips onto a dry canvas just layer your paints like in a little puddle and dip straight onto that but then um, you know you won't have a, a painted background but uh, you could paint your background first for sure and let it dry and then do your balloon dips you can do that that works too um, I just kind of like having the the wet background but very thin just so that I get that sort of feathery look on the outside of the petals just kind of blends really pretty but you certainly don't need a oh my stick broke you don't need a thick background the stick snapped all right that's all i can get out of the white with the broken stick never had that happen before That's the only concern I have with, with these colours. Hopefully it'll be pretty. So I've done my balloon dip just on its own. Lots of dips. And then recently I did the balloon dip onto a swipe. And today a balloon dip onto a pour. 
see how those results go, eh? Probably should have had a little bit of white to finish this off, but I haven't. And I've only got the 700 grams. Do you remember when I did that pink one? I was telling you about not having too much paint on the surface. Although in saying that, this is going to be a slightly different technique because I'm not going to be torching straight away. I'll wait until the surface is covered. And then I'm going to torch. Right, so let's pop him in the middle. Now this one, because I want him to be able to spread out, so I'm going to pop this one way over on the side, just so it's easier to have that side covered anyway, and then this one over on this side, so hopefully he'll have enough room to spread. Because if you put them too close together, um, and too much paint, he gets squished. These tilt and stretch that way, and he can't go anywhere except up and down. So your cells get elongated, so leave him enough room to spread out, claim his land. <laughs> All right, so already released, paint's thinner, I've spoiled these, paint's already released. So let's do this straight down. Oh, I always get that messy bit there, I don't know why. Just do. It's frustrating. Oh, that one was even worse. Oh, don't run away, paint. Come back. Let's pop some on the corner. I'm going to work out how I can not get this. cells are coming up straight away, that's because my mix is thinner. Oh, that worked. So tilt and then really tip that way. That didn't give me that yucky edge, did it? Okay, well there you go, I've learnt something again. As I said in the previous video, I'm still learning every day. Learning. Alright, I don't want to put anything there. How big those cells are already. I hope I've made the right decision to um, use the slightly thinner mix. All right, I'm not going to wait for them to grow any bigger. Let's get this surface covered. I'm going to keep as much paint as I can on the surface, so I'll use a little stick. So that one's covered. Let's go down here. Ziggy zaggy. Don't want to lose too much paint over the edge because I need it to get up the other side still. Just over and come back. I guess the issue with having a thinner mix like this, um, you know, it's one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. Um, the paint's thinner so that, you know, it blends more. So there is a risk of more mud, which is always a concern. But let's see what happens after I start torching and balloon dipping. Otherwise, if it doesn't work, I'll go back to my usual one-on-one -on -one mix. See how that goes. Maybe that will be better. Let's just help this over. But I thought I'll start with the thinner mix because I really want those cells to be able to pop up and, and grow. I don't want them to be too stunted. Oh, look, there's an eye. There's an eye looking at us. Look at that. Okay, so big cells from just tilting. So let's do some torching and see what the cells are going to look like. 
otherwise I've wasted a lot of paint and I, <laughs> I kind of need to go back to my one-on-one, -on -one, don't I? But maybe that's where I can um, put my balloon dips in those big cells where they've kind of gone all wobbly. That's probably a good place to, to do a dip to cover those. Um, I didn't, as I said, I didn't want them mixed too thick because when you torch, these little cells come up and the mix is so thick that these guys don't have anywhere to spread out to. So that's the reason I've started with a thinner mix. So I'm not going to torch, I'm not going to torch, I'm not going to tilt again. But aren't they cute? Hi little guys! They're so cute. A little bit muddy, I guess. To me, the background looks a bit muddy, but these cells that are popping up are really, really pretty. Let me go for some more here. Go for quite a lot of cells. And we can decide how many we want now that we've already you know, covered the surface with paint. Oh, I didn't tell you my colours. Right, I'll tell you my colours while those cells are popping up. So, Deep Space is the navy, and then this one is, this is half cool blue and half cobalt blue. It's kind of a mid-blue. I really like that one. I prefer it to cool blue because, as you've heard me say before, cool blue throws purple. Uh, peacock, light turquoise colour. Um, this red, I've mixed half cool red, half warm red, and I've got a nice like, fire engine red. Uh, warm yellow, white, orange, nothing new about those. I've stood in paint somewhere, my foot's sticky. All right, um, I think that's about as much cell-edge <laughs> cell as uh, what's going to happen. So they're, they're very cute, um, but like I said, I wasn't expecting them to get huge because we're not moving them again. So here's my glove. It's like a chicken with a crest on top, isn't it? Okay. Um, I might use my slightly smaller one, actually. This one, I didn't blow up as much, so I used this one the other day. So let's just hang on to him. Um... Now, I'm going to, first of all, I'm just going to dip over these sections that I don't like, okay? And then, if I need to do any more, I will. So, I'm just going to do this one on the edge. I'm just going to push down lightly and back up. So, it's got quite a lot of paint there. See how it's kind of lifting the paint up? It's because I've got quite a lot of paint on the surface. So the next one I will do much lighter because I kind of push down a lot with this. I'm going to get a bit of paper towel to put here just to catch my paint so I don't make too much of a mess. And I can wipe my balloon off. So just a piece of paper towel folded in half like that and then I can wipe off my paint. It's looking a little bit murky to me, like it's not real bright. Anyway, let's just continue now. I'm going to cover this one, just touch it. I wonder if it might be better if the mix was thicker, then it wouldn't... I don't know. I'll just have to experiment, I guess. Because that one wasn't that attractive. Let me do a really big one. I'm going to push down and I'm going to go round and round in circles and back up. Okay, that's better. That's more what I'm wanting. So that's really spread that paint out. So that's better. Happy with that one. Okay, now this big blob here, let's get rid of him. Oh, it's a shame I'm going to lose that eye there. How cute's that eyeball? Big press down, round and round, back up. Wipe off. How's that looking? Different, isn't it? Okay, um, now there's this section.
section here that's got those elongated cells on it. So we'll go right in the middle of those. Around and around and back up. So still a lot of paint on the surface because it's kind of leaving a, a swoosh. When I lift it up, it's kind of going and sucking the paint up with it. So if I had less paint on the surface, that wouldn't happen. I guess I could have tilted more off. That's an option. Tilted more paint off before I started this. That's an option. Okay, um, where else? This one here, this big icky cell there, let's do him next. I'm liking how the red's coming through here. I was worried that I was going to lose all my red and I haven't really got a lot of it. I would have liked more red. Okay, so I think that's kind of done. I may do this in the middle here, it looks like some clouds. I'll come back to it. I don't want to overdo it. Um, I'll do these blobs here. Like so. See how messy this is getting? So it's a good idea to put some paper towel down somewhere for your balloon to be wiped. And then you can just get rid of it like that and put a fresh piece down. I just like to work clean. I don't like it to be too messy. Get another piece of paper towel. Probably only got another two or so dips to do, so not a lot, but let's have a clean section to begin with anyway. I can dry my balloon off because it's getting a bit wet. Okay. Now, where else? Um, Definitely this bit here, and then probably a little bit in there. Yeah, as I said, I don't want to do too much. This one I don't want too close to that, but I want to catch it, so I might just move it over a little bit so it catches the end of that. And you can make them bigger and smaller by the um, different amount of pressure that you're pushing down on the balloon. Obviously, if you're pressing down a lot, you're going to get a bigger flower. And if you don't press down as much, you're going to get a smaller flower. So I'm liking all of this. Not sure about that yet. This is all good. This, you need to go next. And then, I don't really like that. I wonder what would happen if I tilted. Easy. Stop barking. Let's see if I can get rid of that a little bit, maybe. Let's put the balloon down, and then I can tilt back the other way as well. I wasn't really planning on tilting, but hey, there's no reason why you can't, I guess. I'm stretch things out a little bit. As long as you don't lose your little flower shape. So, but this is the whole idea of um, torching first because you don't have to tilt. You don't really want to lose your, your shapes of your cells. Right here, let's go right here in the middle. Okay. Um, not really liking that one. I might go over the top of that one. Oh, that's better. I've, I've removed a little bit of paint. That's what it is. I've removed some paint from that section. Yeah, because remember I said there was too much paint on the surface? So let's do the same with this one. Remove a little bit more paint. Oh, that's better. They are really nice and bright now, aren't they? So there you go. Go twice. <laughs> Why not? Yes, much better. Okay, I'm going to need some more paper towel. I thought I was finished dipping, but I'm not. It didn't really occur to me that if you dip twice, you can remove some of your paint so that the next dip's got less paint and has a better 
design. There's little cells coming up in my flowers. They're cute, aren't they? All right, let's get some of that off because that's a bit muddy now. I don't really want to dip muddy paint back into my pretty flowers. Did I do that one? I think I've just done that one. I'm going to do them all again because I can. Yeah, it's much better, you guys. The colours are coming through from the bottom. Just do one more here. No, do I want to do one just here? I kind of like that section. I don't know. What do you think? I kind of wish I hadn't have tilted now. I think I've kind of stretched some of my cells out of shape. This is how I did my sea glass painting where I, I don't know if you, I didn't actually do the video of it. I showed you afterwards where I poured and then tilted and then torched, but my mix was much thinner than this, it was two to one. So when the cells popped up, they were really quite big. Um, and I think two drops would have sufficed. Just can't decide whether I want to do one more, just here. I, I think I do because just to balance it out, and I'll kind of do it about there, just maybe just a little one. I'm going to have to do a double again so that it's the same. Does that look alright? Okay, that'll do. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm glad I did that one there. Just broke up those clouds a bit. Righty O. Um, that's it. Let me take off my, my gloves. I'll take you down for a close up. See what you think. I'll fix the sides later on. I won't keep you. It's probably... Oh no, I'm only up to 24 minutes. It's not too bad, is it? Kind of got the oriental look that I wanted. Uh, the red has popped up in my balloon dips, in my flowers. So that's pretty. Let's go this way. I'll take you up the canvas this way. That way you can see a section at a time. Alright, so these cells down here are really pretty. See the red ones and the yellow ones? And they go up. The multicoloured flowers. So I've kept the blues away from the reds, as I said, with the white, because I didn't want too much purple. I don't mind a little bit of purple, but I didn't want too much purple. And I didn't want the red next to the white, because I didn't want too much pink either. There we go. Hey, it's pretty pretty, isn't it? I like that. Happy with that. I'll probably do another one. Well, <laughs> you know me. I will do another one. I'll keep this. I won't scrap this one. I'll do another one. And I might do, what will I do? A thinner mix? A thicker mix? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll... I do like my big cells, you guys know that. So maybe I'll do my usual mix, my one-to-one. -one. Tilt halfway, then torch, then tilt the other way, and then balloon dip. Okay, I might do that. But I'll, I'll do these same colours. I love these colours. I might even put a little bit more red in it. Okay, thanks for watching. See you for the next one. Bye for now.